going on everybody my name is Paul welcome back to the Sly Cooper HD collection and this episode we're we'll heading to episode 2 ironically and welcome to Rajan's Bombay jungle I think that's what it was anyway we're gonna head here and it's called the starry uh, a starry eye encounter he looks beast he's a really beast character so here we go Another clockwork part had surfaced in India, so the boys and I loaded up the van and zeroed in on our next target, a mysterious spice lord known as Rajan. A self-made man who grew up poor on the streets of Calcutta, he started his life a crime selling illegal spices in the black market, eventually growing his small outfit to a sizable operation and earning himself a seat in the prestigious Claw Gang. He since crowned himself Lord of the Hills and while he goes to great lengths to convince others of his royalty, it's mostly to convince himself. True to form, he's holding a lavish ball in his newly purchased ancestral palace. The reason? To show off his latest acquisition, the clockwork wings. The symbol of my enemy. If you saw the wings silhouetted against the night sky, it was already too late for you. Especially if your name was Cooper. Rajan believes displaying the wings will bring him prestige, and maybe they will, but they're also bringing me. All right, so we're in India, and uh, now every time we enter a new area, we're gonna have new upgrades slash gadgets to buy. So, combat dodge, turnbuckle launch, and size disabilizer. Damn, that's a mouthful. Why they gotta make it so hard to pronounce? Anyway, they made it customary for Slide to be the only one you could choose. And of course, we got elephants, we got Bengal tigers, and stuff like that. There's some clues, let's grab the clues. Get out of my face. We probably have to do reconnaissance because that's what you always have to do whenever you're doing a heist. Reconnaissance always comes first. But we're going to get the clues as well because if you don't get the clues first, you're going to end up finding... Oh, look at this. You'll end up finding the, the safe and then you won't be able to open it at that moment. So this is a time-bombed, booby-trapped type of thing and we got to rush back. I'm trying to focus right now because if I fall... That's going to be the second time I failed at one of these things, and I never ever fail at these things. It's only because it's the Let's Play Curse. It's only because of that. And we got it, we got it, we got it, yes! Damn you, Murray. Let's see how much we get for that. 354, that's a lot of cash. We'll save up. I don't know what I want to buy yet. Head or tails? Heads or tails, okay. With the drawbridge up, the only way across that river is on those conical rocks. Do you remember how to spire jump? What? You think I forget one of the Cooper family's greatest thief moves? Whenever I'm near pointed objects, I just need to jump and hit the circle button to perform a ninja spire landing. That's correct. Now let's see it in action. If you forgot, jump and hit the circle button, there is no hope for you. Really, there isn't, because that is the number one phrase in this game. Jump and hit the circle button. Jump and hit the circle button. Jump and hit the circle button. Oh, yeah. Why do they have this stick pointing outwards? Is this some kind of Illuminati symbol? Oh, shit, oh, shit, oh, shit. What up, buddy? Been a little bit too much curry there, buddy. Uh, let's head over here. Gotta find the clues, gotta find the clues. It's good, mate. Take you down. There's a clue. Out of my face. I saw a clue on top of the building behind me, so I'm gonna head over here. Why do I keep getting into these accent turrets? That looks like a that looks like a turret with a turban on it. Oh my god. And I fell. This guy's 
dressed up in some type of dashiki. Die, monkey, die. Die, Rafiki. Why can't I make this jump? Oh, there we go. Sweet. There we go, look at that. That's a really cool orb. Can't hit this one. We've got keys that we have to unlock this with. Any clues down there? Uh, probably. I hear another clue. You know what? Like I told you guys before, if you guys want to find the clues, you want to lower the music volume. So, drop this music volume all the way down and let's collect these clues. It's right over there, I hear it. Get on my face! There's one, there's the other one. I gotta follow the string. Oh, crap. Let's go, Billy Goat. These guys got some really, really loud footsteps right now. This monkey's about to get it. Get over here, buddy. <laughs> or as Alex would say, uh, I guess. That's what Alex would say. Yes, he would. Okay, that's the next clue. There's a clue down there. I'm going to suicide jump for this one. 10 out of 30. There's the next one. Surprisingly, no guard has caught me yet. No guard has been chasing me. There's a clue in my, my, my face. There's the spot I have to go, but I'm not going to just to, just to get these things out of the way. There's the next set. Oh, there's the next one. And I alerted the guard's presence. The gods knew who I am. I will not die. I'm trying to do like some kind of Taken stuff. Have you, if you guys saw Taken 2, trying to memorize every sound out here. Really, really trying to expand my, my boundaries. Eat the sausage! Eat the sausage! It's a very German sausage! Oh, oh, oh. They bring Germany to India! Go oh, Samurai! Oh shit. I hear it. Oh, there you go. There's gonna be quite a few over here as well, so I hear one it's probably below me. I hear it again to my left. There we go. Very, very easy. Watch me say that I'm missing one more at the end. I hear one in front of me and one to my left, so. Oh! Look like Udonis Haslam from the heat. Holy shit! That flew me across the thing. Damn it, man. Next one. Jeez, these guys can't hear anything, and their footsteps are loud as hell, so I don't know how they're gonna hear anything anymore. Anyway.
I heard it, I heard it, I heard it. Oh. I think we pretty much swept this area. Yep, and I saw that coming. Of course, he has the lock on with the, the, the scimitars. Okay, get off of me, man. Jesus! Dude shot me right up the butt, huh? Oh, that guy means business. Here's a pot that I can steal and take back. But I can't get hit once. Watch me get hit. This is why we're gonna scout the area first. We wanna clean everything up. Oh, okay. I can make a really, really quick, quick dash back, all the way back. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh. Jump and hit the circle button. Or else you'll be very dishonorable. I wonder what part of the world each one of them are from, like their, their parents are from. I know Sly's like from all over, but what about Bentley and Murray? Bentley got the Japanese pot. And Murray's probably from the south. There we go. Combat dodge, there we go. We only need six more clues, so. Artful dodger? I could say. Wait. Okay. There's our hidden vehicle. A very nice sound effects from the water. And I like that lighting. Very, very pro light. Get the hell out of my face. This ain't no picnic, son. Alright, we haven't gotten up to the main castle over there, so... Let's head over near Rajan's area. Because I've cleaned up everything here. I've cleaned up everything next to that hotel area. But I've made sure I stayed away from this. the back clue. Yeah, backwards, inverse, inverse. Still here one. Thank you. I don't want to take that just yet. My fault. Damn, there was like a gold mine of these things back here. Jeez! What the hell was that? You freaking lubricated. Who lubricates the floor like that? Honestly, man, why? I hear one to my left. And then I need one more. And I hear. No, 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 we fighting, we fighting, we fighting. I don't take that shit, so... So we have all 30 clues, you just saw me get them all in one take. Now I can turn back on the music, because it gets very dull and creepy with this stuff off. So music, you can come back on. Here we go, that's right. Yes, knock the drum, boy. Shut up, wild. It's not like that, but... You know. Hey boy, what go on? Oh, look at that helicopter. After Paris! He ain't got no SWAT team after me anyway. Let's grab this last piece of art. Holy shit. Just gonna make one final trip to the 
Damn. Hey, we're almost there anyway. Oh, that's pretty epic. Follow the path, boy. Anyway, I need this for health because I have to do the quest or mission, whatever you guys want to call it, right after. So I don't want to get hit. It's the last thing I want to do, actually. And this is probably the last piece of art that I have to turn here. So with everything cleaned up and out of the way, we can actually start questing. So turn monk launch. Murray's is more useful because he can't really jump that high to begin with. And now that he can jump high, we can finally get this quest done, or mission. Holy, holy, holy! Yes! That was a fail, that was a fail, that was a fail. Hit and run, hit and run, hit and run. I was about to pull a constable Nia and start smacking stuff all around the place, purposely giving away my position. I figured out how to sneak in above the ballroom without being detected. The only problem is there's no way to climb up to that balcony door. Not a problem. There seem to be plenty of branches for me to walk on. I'll figure it out. Alright, so you want to follow the branches around, and then once you follow them, you'll be able to jump into the window, and you better hide your kids and hide your wife, because you know where this is going. You know where this is going, son. You know where it's going. Hey! Oh shit, look at that red diamond ruby. I love my rubies. Oh my god. That was just terrible, Paul. Why would you smack the thing in front of you when you see there's a heads-up display and he's trying to be quiet? Easy does it, Sly. Just don't go out onto that balcony and you should remain undetected. <gasps> Holy shit! Okay, I know you said don't go up, but I was like, maybe they won't catch me with the spotlight. Alright, right, I'll stop stalling. I'll stop. I'm gonna stop. I'm trophies off. Easy does it, Sly. Just don't go out. Looks like the wings have been welded onto that statue. Jesus Christ. Do I need to take a picture of both? They look heavy. Getting the wings out of here will be a real challenge. Well, damn, we got a challenge, guys. We got a challenge, huh? Oh, we got the winch. The winch. An electronic winch. That could be useful. That's conveniently located, and then there's Rajan, but now he moved out of the path. Yes! That's him. Rajan's really pulled out all the stops to impress people with this party. Maybe you should He's get got those shots huge claws. I'm gonna get shot to the guest. How are you expecting the shot to the guest? Oh. I'm Hideo. Another claw gang member. Arpeggio specializes in exotic technology. Okay, you get out of the way, someone else fill that spot. Because that's where everybody's showing up, apparently. John Bisson. John Bisson, a member of the Claw Gang and Canadian Shipping Baron. He owns half the trains in Canada. Haha, <laughs> you're Canadian. Contessa. That's the Contessa, a high ranking prison warden for Interpol. She must be working undercover to expose Rajan's spice ring. No, no, no. You're still here. Get out of here, Canadian. This is America. I'm just playing, guys. I'm actually, like, almost half Canadian anyway, so it's alright. Even though I was born 100% in America, just saying. Carmelita's here too. She's so tiny compared to everybody she else. She must be undercover with the Contessa to help bust Rajan. And then... Where is my weird friend? Who has the gas smell? Hello? Hey boy, Nico, let's go. I sound like Jacob from Grand Theft Auto 4. Nico! Watch yourself, Sly. This party is crawling with cops. It's crawling with cops That's and thugs. Thug life. Bring them back to the safe house and we'll start building a game plan. 
Stealing the clockwork wings in the middle of a crowded ballroom is going to take some serious misdirection. And the squad of undercover cops only makes things more complicated. Although, we might be able to use them to our advantage. But no matter what we do in the ballroom, sooner or later we'll need to deal with Rajan's security chopper. Murray can take it out with some of the local armaments but he won't be able to get inside the palace until Sly lowers the drawbridge for him. All right, so we got some operations that we got to take care of, but I think we're going to save that for the next episode. If you guys enjoyed this episode, hit it up with a like, a favorite, subscribe if you guys want to see more videos. My name is Paul, and I'm out.